Hey guys, Frostman here. Hey, I wanted to uh, touch base on a project that I've been working on. I have a 1994 Saturn SL that, uh, well, it likes to overheat a lot. Um, all the forums that I find, everything is like, yeah, that's just what it does. Put a new uh, radiator cap on it, doesn't change anything. Thermostat, radiator, all of the above. Uh, the te engine temperature sensor doesn't change anything either. Um, the gauge gets well past three quarters of the mark before the fan even turns on. So all of the bypasses I've been finding were basically, yeah, just wire in a uh, switch and put it in on the dashboard. I wanted something a little bit more mindless. Uh, I don't, this sounds really lazy, but I don't have time to sit there and stare at my uh, dashboard worrying about whether or not it's getting hot. So what I ended up doing is I bought a little $15 uh, thermal uh, relay. Short end of the story is it just kicks on when it gets hot enough. So let me show you what I got working here. I wired in that little thermal relay there and just the two wires. The probe goes in all the way over here. Now you're supposed to put the probe through the radiator fins to get a more accurate representation of the temperature. Uh, not really interested in what the temperature is, I just want it to actually kick on. So, to reference that, I just make sure that I have this turned to a certain spot. And, um, the easiest way is just to play with it while uh, the car is hot, or at least the temperature you want it to turn on. And then just kind of turn it until it turns off, and then there's kind of your butter zone. The way I have it wired up, I wanted simplicity. Um, I have it wired straight up to the relay that controls the fan itself. Two reasons. One, I didn't want it to be a crazy wire job. Um, two, the relay is switched on the negative side anyway. So the short end of it is one of the wires goes straight down to the chassis and then the other one goes to the relay on the uh, negative side of the switch leg. So uh, you can see the little diagram they have on there. Um, I have it hooked up to, I believe, the 86 side. The 85 side is naturally hot, um, and the 86 side, if I recall, always probe, just to be sure, um, was the switch leg from the computer. The reason why I wanted to do this was because if the uh, air conditioner turned on, I wanted it still to be able to turn the fan on normally, and um, you know, the car still be able to control it itself. But I just wanted to get a little bit less of a temperature out of it, um, so it's not boiling over all the stinking time. Um, on the gauge, it's about just shy of the halfway mark, and it just kicks on when it wants to. <clears throat> the only downside to doing it, wiring it this way, is, and there's the, uh, I'm gonna probably tap it in on the bottom side later, once I actually start pouring um, but for now, I'm probably just going to leave it that way. <clears throat> the only downside to the way I have it set up is it will turn itself on. And that sounds like a bad idea because it'll drain the battery. But the way I have it set up temperature-wise is it will turn on, but not that often. And I've been running it this way for a couple weeks now. And uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't burned me yet. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful to somebody. Um, this was kind of a pain in my butt, so uh, and like I said, the only thing I was finding online was just how-tos on putting a switch in, and I wanted it something a little bit more mindless for it. So anyway, if you have any questions, hit me up on the bottom. Um, otherwise, I'll be 1010 on the side.